at this point we are awaiting uh, more details the honorable chief minister has directed the director general of police and other top officials to rush to the spot okay. uh, they have already proceeded to uh, the place of occurrence hmm. it's very unfortunate kerala is a uh, peaceful state and the government has taken it very seriously the honorable chief minister is directly monitoring okay so you're saying he's directly monitoring but there are also questions being raised on uh, where the kerala chief minister is he said to be participating in a pro palestine protest at a time when such a blast is taking place in the state see this is not a time to uh, uh, to go for controversies let us uh, uh, please uh, wait for more details the government will not tolerate any such act the society the kerala society lives in peace and harmony will not tolerate such acts of violence so the entire people of kerala will uh, unite in condemning such activities okay mr rajesh do you have any official word on the number of injuries uh, and deaths that have taken place so we are awaiting for more uh, details okay any information on what happened anything that the police officials are saying at this point or if you can tell us what the state response has been we understand that the top officials have reached the spot let the uh, police top officials dgp and other top officials reach the spot they will brief okay okay uh, in fact uh, the bjp has also raised questions on what's happening and uh, has said that this is a clear intel failure by the state government it is very unfortunate to uh, up to such conclusions and take political advantage on such an uh, uh, unfortunate incident so uh, bjp it may be quite natural but the people of kerala won't uh, agree to such uh, such conclusions or they won't uh, tolerate such uh, political uh, gimmick by bjp absolutely but mr rajesh when lives are being lost in the state uh, don't you think that the chief minister should be looking at this it's a serious charge that this is an intel failure and at a time like this that the chief minister is said to be a part of the pro palestine rally in the state so what is wrong in expressing solidarity with palestine why you are uh, clubbing together these two issues these are di two different things no absolutely no the question is only about the fact that uh, you know an incident but like Palestine, this is taking place but lives in the state have been lost uh, the bjp saying that this is an intel failure see uh, i can uh, give a reply okay. to you but i don't want to give uh, such replies okay. at this so point okay so you're saying you don't want to politicize at this point uh, and don't want to respond to the bjp at this point mr rajesh thank you for joining us we'll uh, come back to you for any more official word on what's happening as and when there are details available as of now of course only preliminary details available uh, the minister also saying that the official word from the police is also awaited uh, bhavtosh my sincere apologies uh, the politics around it also continuing ashwarya jain is also with us ashwarya uh, we're speaking about how the home minister has now spoken to the chief minister on what's the situation on ground uh, but the bjp also speaking about an intel failure questioning the chief minister saying that while this incident took place in kerala lives are being lost in the state the chief minister himself was busy in a political event he was uh, busy in a pro palestine event in kerala Well, Kerala Chief Minister Pinarayi Vijayan is currently in Delhi, and uh, there ha there uh, is a pro-Palestine uh, 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 you know event and uh, support uh, uh, and uh, to support Palestine. Uh, the CPIM had organized the entire event to which Kerala Chief Minister Pinarayi Vijayan is uh, currently in the national capital along with several other leaders, including Sita Ram Yachuri and uh, Brita Karat and others. Uh, but uh, on the other side, what we are witnessing currently is in Kerala serial blast taking. place uh, uh, in which 3 uh, to 4 people are reportedly uh, dead several are injured several are critical as well uh, but uh, certainly the bharatiya janata party clearly asking the questions uh, uh, to the kerala government uh, and also the kerala police that how a hamas uh, uh, leader uh, virtually joined that particular event in kerala where uh, uh, you know he uh, uh, had been questioned of instigating uh, the mob soon after that what we are witnessing today is uh, the blast taking place in kerala on uh, one side uh, the home minister has also uh, called up uh, kerala chief minister and sought details the nia teams are uh, uh, the and the nsg teams have rushed already to the spot to investigate further but currently what
what we are witnessing is Kerala Chief Minister in Delhi and what he is saying is about the uh, about the support to the Palestinian people. Kerala Chief Minister addressing uh, in the national capital also stating that it's shocking that the government of India is, uh, had abstained yesterday from the voting that took place uh, in the UN. Uh, we, uh, Kerala Chief Minister went on to say that we are witnessing a brutal massacre of uh, innocent people in Palestine but uh, uh, had called uh, the Kerala blast unfortunate as well. Uh, Kerala Chief Minister also went on to say that Indian people's support to Palestine emerges as a national consensus. It's a complete U-turn from a stand that India have taken while attending from UN while voting. India had been very clear on their front that uh, terrorism should be condemned at, at, at every po uh, cost. Yes, India stands with the innocent people of Israel and of Palestine as well and that's the stand that they have taken. But Kerala Chief Minister and several opposition parties also had attacked the government stating that why on one side standing with Palestine but abstaining from the voting in UN uh, had taken place. That's a U-turn that the opposition parties are calling. But simultaneously in Kerala there are attacks which have taken place. Uh, okay. Okay. All right, there should be more details that, coming in of the blast uh, developing story. We continue getting updates on what's happening on ground and what are the details available at this point. In fact, on the blasts that have taken place, more details have just emerged. There were three blasts that were reported and uh, this was during the prayer meeting. Uh, my colleague Bhavtosh also joining us with these details. Bhavtosh, more details available at this point on what really happened. Take us through the details, please. Uh, yes, sir. what we have gathered, and this is from uh, speaking to multiple sources, that uh, actually today was the last day of the prayer meeting, and it was a, a gathering that was organized by the Pentecostal uh, group at the convention center. Uh, three to four plus reported just minutes after the start of the prayer meeting. So it was actually the start of the prayer meeting, and uh, because of that, there was a huge gathering of 2,000 odd people. Uh, what the local police uh, is saying that there were 2,000 odd people there. Because uh, the convention center was uh, jam-packed with such a huge gathering, uh, that was the reason why uh, the blast has so much of impact. Because it was the start of the uh, of the prayer meeting at the convention center. One person uh, has been confirmed uh, dead. That's what we have gathered uh, from the uh, local administration. Twenty-three or people. Uh, that number has, in fact, uh, has increased. Thirty-six uh, injured have been admitted to the hospital. Condition of 10 of them have said to be uh, serious, of which 50, uh, the, the, of the 10 injured, 50% uh, uh, they have suffered uh, 10, uh, more than 50% burn injuries. Now, those who have suffered 50% burn injuries are said to be very serious condition. So we are looking at the possibility of a blast that has a huge, uh, that has in fact has taken, uh, which can be considered to be very serious in the nature. One person has lost life, 10 has said to be in a, in a serious condition, and two of them are uh, in a very critical condition. So the number of injured are now over 36 or around 36 and it was the moment that uh, that the prayer meeting started that the three to four blasts happened simultaneously okay. that's what uh, the police have gathered from the local okay so uh, the number uh, local, of uh, injured have now increased to 36 request you to stay on with us more breaking updates coming in more information uh, that has been gathered on the blast details coming in that the number of injured have increased and the nsg team will be investigating the dg nsg has confirmed it two times now that the NSG team is going to be visiting the blast site. So, uh, Bhavtosh, as you were mentioning, the NI team is going to be visiting Kerala. The NSG team is also expected to be in Ernakulam shortly. Yes, both uh, NSG as well as NIA team uh, will be there. Now, uh, that clearly means that uh, it is a, a terror attack and uh, we have to just wait for an official statement uh, from the Kerala police because the case will be registered under schedule offenses. Uh, like uh, that of Explosives Act as well as UAPA. Uh, that will, in fact, allow the center to invoke the NIA, NIA Act and NIA will then officially take over this case. Uh, that means that uh, this is a terror attack and this is a big terror attack. Uh, and uh, this follows uh, after, after a very long time because it, uh, India has not seen a terror attack in a very long time. And this happens uh, just day after uh, uh, Hamas leader had uh, addressed a gathering in Kerala. Uh, we will keep the politics okay. aside. We'll just concentrate on what has happened uh, okay. in Ernakulam. Uh, 
uh, the blast actually happened at around 9:30 to 9:35, half past nine. Okay. And it followed uh, three to four blast happens simultaneously. In fact, uh, Pratibha, uh, we just have a one more information mm -hmm. that the uh, preliminary finding points to a low intensity explosives being used in the attack. So it is an ID. It's a low intensity explosives. With the fact that such a huge gathering had uh, was there. And it could be possible that uh, once the explosives uh, uh, had in fact uh, uh, triggered, uh, there could be some uh, flammable objects there, and uh, that resulted in this uh, uh, huge tragedy that had happened in El Nakulam. Okay, all right. Uh, so it was an ID blast, low intensity blast. More details coming in on the blast that took place. A breaking story. We continue to get more details of what's happening. The NI Kochi team is now headed towards the blast site and the nature of the explosives is being investigated that's going to be ascertained the forensic teams are going to be looking at the nature of the blast to determine the cause of the blast and of course to determine whether this is a, a terror attack case or not uh, priyank tripathi also joining us on the broadcast with the details priyank a uh, lot of questions still remain unanswered the ni and the nsd teams also now headed towards ernakulam in an indication that it is being looked at as a terror blast uh, yes, certainly. And uh, we have got one more information, uh, which is uh, addition to what Bapros was uh, telling to our viewers, uh, that uh, the NSD bomb disposal uh, squad will also be assisting the National Investigating Agency team. Uh, so far, there is uh, no confirmation of any group which could be behind this uh, particular blast. I was talking to the top officials who are privy to the development which is happening in this case, uh, who are saying that uh, uh, the BDS team from Delhi from the National Security Guard has also left uh, for the blast site because uh, they have expertise in finding out that what kind of uh, material would have been used uh, for making this particular ID. As Bhaktos was telling to our viewers that uh, it was a low intensity explosion uh, which has resulted to this kind of uh, injuries to the pe people. Um, while talking about, uh, you know, while trying to, Time Zone was trying to know that uh, which group could be behind this uh, particular low intensity blast. Uh, the senior officials are saying that it's a very uh, initial stage and uh, what they are saying that so far uh, there is no information about any particular group uh, which could be behind it. Uh, see Pratibha, uh, this development has suddenly come up a day after uh, uh, Khalid uh, Mashal had uh, virtually addressed a rally uh, who is a Hamas uh, leader, he is a known terrorist and his uh, presence on the virtual platform uh, is something which is certainly uh, triggering this information that uh, he could be behind, uh, the, his uh, speeches could be behind it. But if you look at uh, the manner in which this particular blast has happened, it, the IDs could have been made few days back. It is not like that uh, within 24 hours the IDs were made and the location was also finalized. Uh, it was a very planned event which was going for three days. Today was the last day uh, when the event was about to finish and today being Sunday, uh, there are more and more people who generally go to these kind of uh, religious events. Uh, so that is uh, something which could have been very well planned in advance. So this is what uh, the top sources have been saying. Okay. But uh, to know that what kind of chem uh, material, chemical could have been used to make this ID, uh, okay. the uh, experts from the Delhi uh, BDS team has also left for Edna Club. Yes. Okay, all right. Big story, only credible information on times now. Priyank, Bhavtosh and Ashwarya request you to stay on with us. It's a rolling coverage. We're slipping into a very quick break.